Psalms chapter 11, verse 3. I read, If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Hallelujah. What can the righteous do? Right? Absolutely nothing. Hebrews chapter 6. Um, um, I'm going to read from verse 1. It says, Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrines of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works, of faith towards God, of doctrine of baptism, and of laying on of hands, and of the resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. Hallelujah. I'll stop there. Now, if you, if you are able to thoroughly go through these doctrines, you would have successfully laid a strong and firm foundation for your Christian work. Hallelujah. Now, one of them is repentance from dead works and then faith towards God. Another is the doctrine of baptisms. Another is the and of laying out of hands. Another one is the resurrection of the dead and then eternal judgment. Now, once you are able to take time and study these models, hallelujah, when the rain or the flood comes, when the wind blows, when the storm comes, you will not sway by every wind of doctrine or by the slight of men. Ephesians chapter 4 tells us. But rather, you will grow up, hallelujah, into that specified stature of the man Christ. Hallelujah. God bless you.